So here we have the Volkswagen Golf R on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see that it's got alloy wheels and five doors. Let's start off inside the boots and then work our way around the rest Approach of the car. Approach the back of the car, there. you'll see we've got those four exhaust pipes, uh, reversing sensors as well as a reversing camera, which I'll show you when we're inside the car. Plenty of boot space as well as that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car now and then I'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see it's a great looking car. Fantastic colour for it and in really wonderful condition Just briefly well. before I climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. The seats are as good as new. You've got the R embossed upon the driver and passenger seat as well. There's plenty to run for on the dashboard, so let's hop in and okay, we'll do so that Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start off with the dials. On the left-hand side, we've got the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. Uh, we're able to change the trip computer information that you see up there. Uh, there's various different bits of A, trip computer information and B, other menus so things like satellite navigation is uh, possible up there uh, various different things you can change from audio to phone vehicle settings all the way back round to driving data again if we back out to the steering wheel the buttons i was using a moment ago are these ones on the right hand side here you've also got stereo controls and the ability to uh, use the voice activation to dial someone in your contacts list and that can be done uh, without you taking your phone from your bag or your pocket that is of course once you paired the phone on the uh, main screen which i'll show you in a moment on the left hand side we've got cruise control with speed limiter. We also have the ability, using that button in the middle, to determine the gap that we would like this car to maintain between us and the car in front. So it will slow down and speed up according to the traffic conditions in front of you when you've got cruise control activated, which is a, a fantastic uh, safety feature really. Also on the steering wheel we've got the R logo on the bottom there as you can see and it's a flat or flattened off bottom to the steering wheel as well just to give you that bit more uh, knee and leg room when you're driving the car. Over in the centre we've got the main touch screen for the car. So first of all the radio, you can see we've got DAB, FM and AM radio. In terms of other ways to listen to music there are loads as you can see so it's got a CD player, two SD memory card slots although one of those is uh, reserved for the satellite navigation primarily. There's a USB input, you can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio. There's an auxiliary input and a wireless connection possible on this car as well. I mentioned when we were at the back of the car that it had uh, reversing sensors. You can see that there. So a uh, full color image, also showing you the guidelines on the ground so you know where the car is headed in relation to the image that you see. And on top of that, you get the actual sensors on the left-hand side. Uh, you'll probably notice whenever I'm lifting my hand up that things open up on the screen. That's because this uh, screen has got a kind of a motion sensor. So anytime you go to put your hand up in front of it, it will open up various different extra bits of information. Um, so if I left this for long enough, that would minimalize, for example. And when you put your hand up, the, the menus will come back up. And it's the same with the satellite navigation screen as well. So there you go. You can see that happening just there. Uh, working our way down from there, we've got the dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the temperature independently on either side of the car. Fan speed in the middle. That button will turn the air conditioning on or back off again. And then you can determine at the top where you'd like the air to blow within the car. We have a little cubby hole in here that contains the USB and auxiliary inputs. And you'll see on there it says four motion. Uh, four motion is Volkswagen's term for four wheel drive. So this car uh, is a four wheel drive car and it needs it really. It's a 306 brake horsepower car as well. So uh, yeah, the four wheel drive certainly helps. Six speed manual gearbox. We've got the ability to turn on or off the front parking sensors in isolation from there. Obviously the rear, uh, the rear ones come on when you put the car into reverse. On the left hand side, we can turn off the traction control if you're feeling particularly brave. That button there will turn off the stop and start. So this car's designed to cut out in traffic to save you fuel. You can turn that system off should you wish to. And this is for driver modes. So when you push this button, you're confronted with this screen. You can put the car in a normal driving mode, race mode, or you can set it up individually and customize it as you wish. You can change things like the steering, the drive, the air conditioning, uh, dynamic corner lighting so you can change that for example to normal race eco you can change the steering to race or normal uh, basically in the case of the steering for example it would make the steering firmer in race mode normal in normal and if you have it in comfort then it would be a lot lighter in terms of the power steering so most of the time uh, you'd probably have the car set up in normal just there and then finally we've got the electronic handbrake with auto hold function and a 12 volt charge all that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video if you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive please feel free to call any of our mja sites we'd love to hear from you soon